Um, hi there, just as promised, um, here's my solution to page 89, question 9. So sorry, it's not question 1, it's question 9. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, actually the work solutions in the back are pretty good, aren't they? So hopefully that will be, um, you know, help you with other questions if you get stuck on them. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, it's, it, this is a bullet being fired from a gun, angle of 60 degrees, and it wants the velocity. So what it wants by that is the... Um, horizontal and the vertical component um, and interesting when when I uh, cos of 60 and a half so that gave me 400 um, cos of 30 I, I knew it was gonna be a nice round value couldn't remember what it was but when I typed in 800 cos 30 I got a horrible decimal number um, now actually cos 30 is root 3 over 2 so this is the exact value of that so I left it as 400 root 3 hopefully if you did it as one uh, 692 you um you stored the exact value and used the exact value because you needed it several times in the rest of the question anyway that was what they wanted um, the velocity in vector form um, so part b when does it hit the ground um, so that's when its vertical distance is minus 1.8 because it starts 1.8 meters above the ground so i just worked vertically not in terms of vectors just vertically so its initial vertical velocity is plus 400 root 3, 692.82, blah, blah, blah. So which means the acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second. And I'm just asking when does S equal um, minus 1.8? So it's just the usual quadratic in T squared. You get a negative answer, which you can ignore. And then I thought, I was a bit worried. That seemed like quite a long time for the bullet to be in the air, but yeah, that is correct. Um, it uh, then asks about, um, whether the bullet will be traveling fast when it hits the ground when it was fired. Well, um, again, we, we're ignoring all air resistance. So this is maybe a bit counterintuitive, I don't know. You always hear about people being injured in um, you know, places where sort of guns get fired in the air in celebration as the bullets come down to earth. But yes, it, using this model, it will be traveling faster because the, you know, the route will be like this. So when it is 1.8 metres off the ground on its way down, it will have the same speed as it did when it left. Although, of course, it, that would be vertically, that would be coming down rather than going up. So the extra 1.8 metres, it would have accelerated a little bit more by gravity. Uh, part D wants the velocity of the bullet at time t. So the we use of the word velocity means... We need both components, so we could do it separately, or we could do it in terms of vectors, which is what I did. So um, I think this is actually a bit clunky. I might have just left it as V like that rather than putting the brackets. But anyway, that's my final answer, and that's it in unit vector form. And the constraints, well, of course, this only works until it hits the ground. So that was the answer to the previous question. So that was the the range of values for which the model was valid. Um, and then the last bit was a, a bit of a subtle question. It said, when is it traveling at 45 degrees? And, um, and, and I don't know if you sort of spotted the, the subtlety there. So it's either going to be traveling at that direction on its way up or that direction on its way down. And what 45 degrees means is the the horizontal and vertical components of the speed at that point, their magnitude will be the same. Now we know that the horizontal uh, component will always be 400 because there's no acceleration horizontally. So I just had to work out when was the vertical speed 400 and when was it minus 400. So again, just working vertically, no need for vectors. So the initial vertical speed, 400 root three, when is it going to be 400? Acceleration minus 9.8. V equals U plus AT example. I, I think we only used V equals U plus AT and S equals UT plus a half AT squared um, in the questions that we've done. Certainly the vast majority of them. Um, so you get the point on the way up when it is travelling at 45 degrees. And then doing exactly the same but just asking when... Uh, v is minus 400, you get the point on the way down when you'll be travelling at 45 degrees. Hope that's okay. Take care.